My name's Dave Betts. Uh, I'm an assemblage artist. And what I do is I take uh, objects that I find uh, in dumpsters or alongside of the road and um, I bring them home and try to find ways to assemble them in a way that either makes me laugh or uh, invokes a memory or uh, makes, you know, gives me some kind of a feeling. It started with uh, In the Attic too, uh, with uh, that uh, McAllister family. Uh, had a great uh, a red barn in uh, Jamesport and they had all the kind of junk that I like. And they used to let me go into their back room where they kind of just threw stuff and I could go through and find pieces that I thought were interesting and, and buy them and bring them home and then start to play. I go through whatever anybody else has thrown out. If they've thrown something out that I can use, like an old dresser or whatever, I'll take the uh, knobs off of the dresser or I'll even take the, a drawer or something like that because I can use uh, the wood. Everybody has a junk drawer. Well, I've got probably 25 drunk, junk drawers and I'll pull out that drawer and say, I need a nose, all right, or I need an ear, or I need a mouth, or, or something, or an eyebrow, or uh, an accessory or something. I'll pull out those drawers and, uh, and find the right element, just keep trying them until, until I find something that works. I try not to use glue. I, I try to put everything together with either screws or nails are supported in a way that, uh, that they'll last a long time. One of the things that's really important to me is uh, to find a piece that I know that uh, somebody's had a relationship with. And what I mean by that is that this is an old, uh, a really old paintbrush. And it's probably 30, 40 years old at least. And it was uh, used by a professional painter. And even after all that time, it's still soft. So they, whoever had this took care of it for a long, long time and made a living with it. And then it ended up in a box somewhere or a garage sale or whatever and just discarded. If, and when I find something like this that I know that it has a history behind it and to be able to come up with a way to uh, repurpose it in a way that people would enjoy it, uh, means a lot to me. It means I, you know, this is going to get another maybe 10, 15, 20 years out of it. I wish the guy that that threw this paintbrush away could see uh, where it, you know, that it ended up in somebody's home hanging on a wall. He'd probably think it was pretty crazy. When I'm putting uh, these pieces together, I'll uh, start assembling them and uh, it'll evoke a memory in me. And, uh, and I, a lot of times it'll be somebody that I grew up with. I grew up in Ohio in this small town, uh, less than a thousand people, and where I went to grade school uh, through high school. In this case, this is Fern Stevenson, who is uh, a neighbor of ours. And she was a lady that was really loved by everybody. She, uh, she would sponsor the parades. She would sponsor town plays. Uh, she was very dramatic, uh, very opinionated, but everybody loved her. And, and uh, so as I started putting together these kind of uh, uh, flowery eyes, that reminded me of Fern. So I named her Fern, and I posted that on Facebook, and a lot of my friends from back home followed me. And I kind of looked forward to seeing uh, who, who am I going to recreate next uh, from our hometown. When I can find something that somebody else just had no use for uh, anymore or thought it was broken, couldn't be repaired. When I find something like that uh, and I rescue it, I, uh, it really makes me feel uh, good.